What is up everyone, RTX Serial here. Back again with a video. Today I'm gonna play some Cyberpunk 2077. And I've got free sizable bar on. I'm playing on the MSI GP76. It's pretty much the same as the 66, only a bigger screen and numpad. And some minor differences, but the specs are the same. Now, if you're curious about how to enable resizable bar, follow the link at the top. I'm explaining step by step how to update your BIOS because that is what you gotta do in order to enable it. Now, I'm just gonna play around with the settings a bit. These are currently the settings I'm using. It's patch 2.1 or 2.2 even. And there's been some tweaks. Um, but let's reset the benchmark because the menu screws it up. There has been some tweaks on the performance. But honestly, overall, it is doing phenomenal. Hey, watch it. Yo, you watch it. This is my sidewalk. Hey, you, what, you, God damn it. I think I killed Kenny. Now, I disabled all the minimaps and stuff just to make the game look more immersive. You can do that in menus under gameplay. Honestly, I like it a lot better like this. Because this game is <laughs> flipping amazing. It's stupid when it comes to like technicalities because it's buggy as fuck I mean they did some they did some bug fixes but the first thing I did when I started the game what happened was there was some debris falling from the sky and oh my god <laughs> it was just random random debris debris falling from the sky now wait let's find a little bit crowded place walk a bit around Let's mess around with ray tracing in a second. Now, if you haven't done it yet, resizable bar is definitely worth updating. You can find it in the NVIDIA control panel under uh, products information. I'll put it at the end if you want to see how, uh, how you want to check it out. If you have a resizable bar enabled. Now, if you like my kind of content, then please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, say something nice, always helps me out. It helps the algorithm. Okay, let's just jump out here and have a little walk. My goodness. I want sushi. Look, Charlie, go back to where you came from. Uh, I just want to order sushi. What kind of snack bar are you? What do you mean no? Look, I don't like it when someone stares at me. Here. I don't like it when somebody disrespects me. <laughs> oh, run. run! Now I want to thank everybody so much for all the support I've gotten. The channel has grown so tremendously fast. It's insane. So thank you all from the bottom of my heart for all your positivity and feedback. That, that really helped me out, guys. Man, would you look at that. Okay, let's turn, this is a good street, I guess, for ray tracing. Let's turn ray tracing on, or good. <coughs> ray tracing. Let's put it up all the freaking way. Now it's gonna lag a little bit. Help! God damn it! Whoa! That scared the living fuck out of me. I mean, 53 FPS or 50 for what? For around 50? That's not very bad for a system. <laughs> With a game as heavy as, heavy as this. It's actually doing really good. I do notice some input lag 
it's not the way it should be. But this is a very oh hello more enemies. Very playable. Wow. Do you have some food for me, please? You're not even gonna get close to me, are you? Oh here, please. Run! More cops. Okay, so I'm just gonna go cut this little part. And uh -oh. We're gonna go to a daytime, so I'll show you some daytime. I think I gave you an okay impression of what it is like during nighttime ray tracing. So I'm gonna cut this part off and we'll go to the next bit. So here we have arrived at daytime. I found his little truck. I kind of like this truck. Looks very really nice. I'm gonna make it out of here alive. But the most impressive thing about this laptop is honestly its temperature. I cannot wrap my head around how cool this laptop runs. You have like the exhausts, there's two coming out of the back, like hot air, and two at the sides, and it is honestly incredibly effective at dissipating heat. Let me show you what happens if I turn on Cooler Booster. You might hear it over the microphone, because it's a freaking tornado when I turn it on. But look at the temperature, it'll go down. And I'm wearing headsets and headphones, or headphones even. And they're even open air, but I can barely hear it because of the game. So the, the, the sound on this machine is phenomenal. Not like the, like the speakers, but more like the, the fan sound. Because that is a deal breaker for me, if that is too loud, like a lot of laptops are. Now I'm gonna turn ray tracing off again. Turn it off and put the LSS on balanced. Reset the benchmark. So here we have the LSS balanced. I think this is the best option for the game, the LSS balanced, just because um, it's such a small screen and you cannot really notice like a little artifacting going on on the screen when it comes to um, the LSS not being picture perfect. Let's go down here. I mean, look at the FPS. My, my 2080 Ti even struggle with this game. Just look at it. Hello, hippie. Why is everyone got it out for me? Sorry. Ooh. These guys are fighting. Yes? Talking to him, not to you. Just hm. weather, eh? Yes. He's trying to punch me. Let's turn on the photo mode. Man, this game looks great. This mode is really nice for content creators. You can make really nice thumbnails with it. Let's turn ray tracing on here. Oh man. Oh man. Wow. That is incredible. Honestly, a resizable bar does a lot because before I was I was hitting like 50, 48 ish. Now I can still hit that, but it was like everywhere. It would even drop to like as low as 39. And resizable bar really, really does a lot for the system. It looks like Japanese food. Konnichiwa. Let's move on. 
Where is my car? My car. Darren is rude. You know that, right? Yep. Hello. Wait, let's turn cooler booster off. What are you doing? Sorry. Look at the temperature. Cooler booster is so super duper effective. That's what happens when the hero of the city is not there. Bottoms up? Honestly, I feel like this system can run any game without any problem at 1080p. Just, this is pretty much the most heavy game you can possibly play. And it's running it with ease, like ease, even with like desktop melting um, settings, no problem. I'm kind of proud of the of my laptop. I'm really happy about it. And there's been a lot of people that have asked me like, oh, should I buy this one or should I buy that one? I would, I would recommend you the. Um... No, I'm just gonna continue. Okay. I would recommend you the, to buy an MSI laptop for the sake of cooling because it, from all I, everything I've seen, the AMDs are overheating really badly. Even though they have incredible performance, they are overheating. That is a problem. And also, like Asus, I've seen a new Asus laptop. One of my friends has it. And the fan sound on that is so freaking annoying. It has great performance, don't get me wrong. It's very similar to what I have, but the fan sound, oh hell. You will not be happy with it when you really care about fan sound. Now let's try some low settings. See what that does. Is there any... Let's just put everything on low. Let's not put it in psycho. Mm. Ray tracing balance. Oh, well, this is good enough. Okay. Let's reset the benchmark. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> oh man. I did not expect these 30, 60 laptops to rule the world like this. I think if you're if you if you're in the market for buying a laptop and oh watch it, me crossing, and you just want to play on like a, a laptop screen, I would go for a 30, 60. But if you want to play on a um, let's say monitor, I would. Or 1440p, I would recommend you the 3070. But I will kind of want to warn you because there's a lot of people saying that the AMD, the new CPU, or AMD CPUs are doing great. Yes, they have great performance. And yes, they are surpassing the Intels thus far. But they have a thermal problem. And that is something they are not mentioning. So I'm going to end this benchmark like that. Just be aware of what you buy. Intel is still a lot, I guess, cooler. <laughs> it's the right word. I mean, look at the temperatures. Go back, go back and forth. Just check it out how cool they are and compare that to other benchmarks of other people thermally. Because thermals are, for me, the most important part of a laptop. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like my content, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Peace out.